Throughout much of its 1,300 mile length, the Orange River winds through the most arid parts of South Africa. To harness its truly vast potential, a tremendous project, bigger than the Tennessee Valley Authority, the Kariba or the Volta River schemes, has just been announced by the South African The government of the Republic of South Africa has decided to make an immediate start with the Orange River scheme, one of the biggest hydroelectric and water conservation projects in Africa, costing in all over the next 30 years a total of 600 million dollars. Its purpose is to harness the waters of the Republic's biggest river in huge dams, constructed over a thousand miles of the course of the Orange feeding 20 hydroelectric power stations and irrigating 750,000 acres of land. The time has come for South Africa to launch its major project of this nature and thus create conditions favorable for the full utilization of our untapped resources and to provide a better livelihood for our growing population which is expected to double itself before the turn of the century. The net result of this program will be substantially to increase the country's economic and agricultural power, already far in advance of any other African territory. In addition to solving water problems, it is proposed to construct 20 hydroelectric stations, 10 along the Orange and 10 along the Fish and Sundays rivers, thus creating a huge new network of electric power and linking up with existing electricity supply commission systems at Kimberley and Bedford. Near Bethuli lies the confluence of the Culloden River on the left and the Orange River. Much of the area below it will become part of the main storage area for well over a thousand years. One, another large undertaking further downstream. Here for some months, river, South Africa's best exploited river, and nearby the Val on the left have been little used. But the results are as spectacular as those found in the Nile Delta to fertility that the vast Orange River project will bring about.